everyone. It's Angela Bliss with Angie's Art Asylum. Hope everyone is doing well. Um, I was inspired by Molly's artistry, and she has done uh, some pretty cool things with her uh, Bright Vibrant series. Um, I'm going to use my base. It's going to be the Color Place Color to Go um, House Paint. I'm going to try this as a base, and I'm going to swipe over it with some cell activator and then we're going to do some couple of puddles and wreck them and then do some bright colors over it and swipe it and see how it works haven't done this yet but i uh, wanted to give it a try i'm getting paint everywhere so let's just dig into it now i did mix some gak 800 in my black in this black. I'm going to save some. So I have some for the end. Hope everyone is well today. It is, uh, I'm in my kitchen. I'm in my PJs. Um, and uh, that's just how it is today. It's raining outside, so gonna see if we can't pull this off I just poured that out of the can so it's got bubbles in it hopefully it'll slide out okay It's a 10 by 20 canvas. And I've got some white Amsterdam mixed with Floetrol, about four to one. Um, and I added some Minwax wood conditioner to it. I'm just gonna put it on my tool here and swipe over this black a little bit. different directions. see with this stuff so uh, it is what it is keep most of that paint on there a little thick right here but I think when we spread it out it'll be all right okay all right so now I've got two cups of uh, just the artist loft black and the artist loft white mixed with blue draw and a little bit of um, Liquitex gloss uh, varnish and we're going to kind of just ring ring these together This 
in on this side. I'm gonna come around here. Okay. Put more black than white. stayed a little more together than the other one. And I'm going to wreck these little circles. Okay, falling off the edge here. That's pretty right there. This is going to be pretty cool, guys. Pretty cool. Let's keep that from dripping. Okay. So now I am going to take these colors I have. And I have um, Lucas Curl Studio, um, the Cadmium Red Deep Hue. I have Liquitex Basics Cadmium Orange Hue. I have uh, Lucas Curl Studio Indian Yellow. And I mixed all of these colors. Um, one part paint, two parts Floetrol, and a little bit of the Liquitex Gloss Medium. Gloss Varnish. Um, I've got the Sap Green. In the Lucas Carrell Studio. I've got um, Phalo Blue Amsterdam. And I've got the Ultramarine Violet by Amsterdam. And I'll probably use these colors in another pour. We may do another one of these because this is pretty cool. I absolutely love it maybe on a bigger canvas I have to set up outside <laughs> or something um, we're just going to oh my gosh I don't know where to pour it at because it's so pretty um, I'm gonna start here no nope. I love that um, I wish you guys were here. You could tell me where to do it at. Uh, let me do it right here. Red. Orange. I don't want it to be too big because I want it to fit under my my palette knife. Blue. And purple. Violet. Excuse me. Uh, okay. Now, I'm going to take tool and we are going to swipe over this color my husband of perfection is looking at it like why did you put the colors on it no I'm looking at it like wow yeah it's that's, pretty cool huh yeah that's but, really cool yeah I saw Molly do it on her channel and I was like oh I gotta try that because it's pretty cool yeah I'm digging that yeah So I'm going to 
swipe this again right over the colors. Get us a little crackling uh, webbing going on. And then we're going to tilt it. This is one of those ones that it looks so cool right now. And you know it's going to look awesome when it's done. But it looks so cool right now. You almost want to do one like that. Just let it dry. I know. That, that's just cool. Yeah, I was, I was looking at this stuff right here. It's really, really freaking yeah. amazing. I was like, oh, I don't want to put the colors on it. But I do want to try it. So. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Bye. Sorry. Bye. Um, so I'm going to swipe this down. Um, I think I'm going to swipe it right through here. That way I don't mess with this over here. So here we go. I'm just putting my tool here on the side so that I can have some of that paint. It doesn't matter if it has cell activator or anything in it. So, um, okay. Hopefully, I put enough color in it. Um, and we will tilt it off. Hopefully, I don't lose a lot of this stuff. So. We'll just kind of do it slowly, and hopefully, I think I have enough paint, but let's go ahead and add some paint to the sides just in case, because I don't want this to roll over itself. Like I said, my black is just the, uh, the color to go already pre-mixed black paint. Mixed with a little GAC 800. Really thick, but I love the way it dries. I love the way house paint dries. So, And it worked really well together with the acrylic paints and the Floetrol mix. So, should be all right. It's pretty cool. Okay. Like I said, I'm just going to go really slow uh, because this is pretty amazing already. I'm going to go down to this end and try to keep all this together. It's sliding pretty well. enough paint. I'm just going to go off the edge there. Oh, that's amazing. Um, bring my paint back. I'm going to try to come over here on this side. Really, really slow. Nope, maybe not. I got a bikini corner like Miss Karen Waterfall Acrylics talks about. Um, a couple of them actually. <laughs> I'm gonna have to learn how to slide this paint around the canvas a little, a little uh, slower and meticulously. But oh my gosh, this is cool. Hopefully, I don't lose very much down here. Let me see if I can get this paint. Just takes time to master. A 
where it's at. Okay. This is so cool. Just gonna bring this paint back up. big white piece right in the middle. I don't know if I like that, but I'm afraid I'll mess everything else up if I move it. Still got to paint on the... We'll set it down and look at it for a second. Wow, this is really, really amazing. I love it. Next time I will put more color down because I wish I had more color but on this piece I love it. I think I got enough paint off. I mean, it is still moving quite a bit, but put the GAC 800 in there, so maybe it won't. Where's the big head? Maybe I can just, hold on, bear with me, guys. I'm going to just slide that white piece right off of there. Or maybe hey babe come look at this I'm gonna get the expert over here and let him look at it what do you think oh wow that about that white part in the middle this yes I like it Pretty cool, huh? Yeah, it, yeah, it looks like a. It looks almost like a road. Like that's really neat. Yeah. Really, really cool. Okay, um, I am going to. I usually don't do wet results, but I'm gonna get them down and let them see this because. Yeah. pretty amazing. Yeah. I love it. That's really cool. I can't wait to do it. I think I might do like 10 of them today. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> okay, guys. I might have to keep that one. Yeah. This would be really cool on a much larger canvas. Okay, guys. Um, I might turn you off, get you off this uh, stand, and bring you down. So, bear with me. Okay, guys. Um, let me turn my mic around here. Hold on. Okay. I want you to see this. It's freaking beautiful. I'm just going to kind of go up and down it for you, and then hopefully it dries well. And then... Uh, I'll show you the dried results, but wow. Look at those cells. My light's in the way. So it's a pretty
pretty amazing. Look at that. Okay, so um, if you will stay with me, we will have the dried results coming up. Thanks, guys, for joining us. Um, please put your comments down. I want to know what you think about this. It's absolutely amazing. Be right back. Okay, everyone, um, this is the dried result of that beautiful pour. Um, look at that. It is so pretty. The cells dried exactly like it should have. I had no cracking, no crazing, no movement after the fact. It's super, 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 super amazing. It's so pretty. That lacing. And the little round cells that popped up. And I love, I don't know if you can see it, but I love this. This is so pretty. So if you're interested, I have done a 16 inch by 40 inch pour just like this. Um, I did it right after this video. So if you want to subscribe and like and comment on this piece. Um, oh, I can never get in here. Then... Uh, do it let me know that you're going to stay tuned and see the larger version of this i absolutely love it please leave a comment tell me what you think like subscribe uh, share my channel i'm trying to get more subscribers uh so that i can share my work with i would appreciate the uh the love guys and uh keep pouring and Keep painting and keep coming back because I've got lots and lots of more great stuff to show you. Thanks, guys. Have a good day.